accused of killing nine-year-old Angie Hausman back in 1993 is where Alexis Zotos was in the courtroom today when Hausman's family came face to face with her accused killer. Inside the St. Charles County Courthouse today, the family and loved ones of Angie Hausman got their first look at Earl Cox, the man accused of the brutal kidnap, rape, and murder of the nine-year-old little girl. Now, Cox looks very similar to his June mugshot. He is bearded and was wearing glasses. He was shackled and used a walker to get into the courtroom. For me, it was just like staring at a real-life monster of a demon in front of us. Angie's Angels is a group who has worked for years to find answers into who killed Houseman back in 1993, leaving her for dead in the woods of St. Charles County. Earl Cox was charged in June of 2019 after DNA evidence connected him to the crime. Prosecuting attorney Tim Lomar will make a decision by May 4th on whether or not they will seek the death penalty against Cox. That's too easy, too cushy of a life for a career criminal. The trial has been set for April 12, 2021. It could take as long as three weeks. Now, investigators have previously said they do believe that there might have been other people involved in the disappearance of Angie Hausman, but no one else has been charged or arrested at this time. Reporting in St. Charles County, Alexis Eros, News 4.